Tom Snyder. Join me for Primetime Sunday Live here on NBC. President Carter says U.S. military forces will be beefed up in the Caribbean and made more visible highlights of his Cuba speech coming up. We'll take a look at day one of Pope John Paul's visit to America and concern now tonight for the new slide possibly in the Big Rock area in the news. KMPC, Los Angeles. KMPC, Los Angeles. KMPC, Los Angeles. For fun and games, join KMPC, 710 Los Angeles. And Anaheim. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, pardon me, sir. Do you have 30 seconds to discuss banking? Well, unless my elevator comes in 20. Uh, uh, what do you want? Excuse me. What do you want in a bank? Simple confidence. I want them to handle my checking account efficiently so I don't have to think about it, that's all. Uh, do you get what you want? Not often enough. Do you bank with Security Pacific Bank? No. Perhaps you should consider it. Consider, consider Security Pacific Bank, the bank you don't have to think about. You're doing your share. You're showing that you care. You're doing your share at Ralph. We're doing ours. Win up to $25,000 in cash or prizes instantly. Share the fun at Ralph's Million Dollar Fall Festival of Prizes. Win a Mercedes diesel wagon, an Ericsson sailboat, passports to Knott's Berry Farm. 230,000 prizes in all. You're doing your share at Ralph's. We're doing ours. New Center 4, the 11 p.m. edition with John Schubeck and Tricia Toyota, Stu Nahan Sports, Pat Sajak with the weather, and Robin Groth with the Nightside Report. Now here is John Schubeck. Thank you very much, Donald Rickles. Good evening, everybody. President Carter tonight announced a step up in U.S. military activity in the Caribbean. This to counter reports of Soviet combat troops in Cuba. Speaking on nationwide television, Mr. Carter said Moscow still refuses to admit the existence of those troops there. Nevertheless, the president went on to say that that was no reason to return to the Cold War or to hold up ratification of SALT, too.